Hello and welcome to Class Clown Series. This is our student Jessica who has volunteered to take a few sample IELTS tests with us. In this episode, we're giving her parts 2 and 3 of the test. Put yourself in Jessica's shoes and try to answer the questions you will see on the screen. Finally, check our feedback at the end and let us know if you have any questions. Good luck and happy learning! In part 2 of the IELTS speaking test, you will have to talk about a topic for 1 to 2 minutes. You have 1 minute to think about what you're gonna say and you will be able to take notes as well. Here's the topic we gave Jessica. Describe a review you read about a product or service. You should say, where you read the review? What the product or service was? what information the review gave about the product or service, and explain what you did as a result of reading this review. So I would like to describe a recently review that I read uh, before I went to before I go before I went to a restaurant. There is a vegan restaurant on around Kensington Market area in Toronto. That restaurant named um, Golden Lotus Restaurant. So I read it before I go there because I would like to see um, is it that a, a vegan restaurant actually good or not. So I actually Google it and read that people said that um, the service is really nice. That is really important to me because I want to have a really nice dinner with my friends. That's why I want to make sure that I have a good one. Especially I want to introduce uh, one of the Vietnamese restaurants to her to show her that the taste, how the taste is that. And um, when I read that, that review is amazing. They talk about the food, the flavor is exactly same as um, Vietnamese uh, food. And they also have the parking lot. So I don't need to worry about the parking for my friend. So she doesn't need to take too much time to go there and finding a spot for that. Um, that's why I chose that one. And when I go there, it's really nice. I love it and everything is more than expect. Thank you very much. What kinds of things do people write online reviews about in your country? So mostly, I think in Vietnam, mostly the restaurant will be one of the um, few has a lot of uh, review because they want to know um, the services, the food, how the taste is, and then they can save their time to try it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why do some people write online reviews? Well, the online review, as I said, it saves time for people, so they will know is it good or not. So they will willing to pay the amount if they want, and also will help other to attract. I mean, the company or the place itself attract more customer or clients. Mm -hmm. Do you think that online reviews are good for both shoppers and companies? Of course, yes. 100% I agree with that because that will help them to uh, build up their uh, reputation. That is one of the most important thing for them. And on the other, si on the other hand, uh, customers and clients can introduce to their friends too so they will bring more profit for them. And they can also, uh, how to say, they maybe uh, improve themselves also. Okay, thank you. What do you think it might be like to work in a customer service job? Well, for me, working in the customer service job, uh, can you help me to gratify this question? Of course. 
how would you feel if you worked in a customer service job? If you had a job in the customer service industry? Okay, so for me, the customer service will help me a lot if I work in that firm because I can put myself in their shoes to know what they feel and to understand them what they think about so I can have many views to know a lot of customers so I can uh, like connect and have a lot of experience for myself. Mm -hmm. Do you agree that customers are more likely to complain nowadays? Well, I think yes, they do. But I think complain is um, not, not actually... Actually, it's not really bad somehow because complain will help the customer... I mean, help her, uh, companies um, know what the customers expect so they can improve themselves, they can have more uh, products and the customer themselves they can satisfy with that what they want to and they also can um, I mean they have both I mean both sides can have uh, a good um, connection and not only the connection also the satisfies for each of them I see so. okay and your final question is, how important is it for companies to take all customer complaints seriously? For me, it's extremely important because the company needs to take care of every single of customers. That is um, a big matter of how they care about customers, how they know about their products so they can uh, introduce their products in the better way and achieve more um, achievements. For example, they will help the customer with many range of the product slides, so they can uh, the customer can like have uh, more knowledge about their products whenever they explain to customer. So customer and customer is one way that can bring them more. Uh, clients, for example, they will introduce friends, family, and co-workers that a lot of potential things for them. So they need to take care of every single of customers. Thank you very much, Jessica. This is the end of your IELTS speaking test. Yep. I would like to describe a recent review that I read. I read it before I went there, before I went there. I wanted to introduce one of the Vietnamese restaurants. Everything was better than I had expected. Online reviews can save time for people. Save time. Making a complaint is not really bad. Complaint. Customers can be more satisfied with the service. More satisfied. Companies need to take care of every single customer. That's an important issue. Important issue. To gain or obtain more achievements. Gain achievements. All right, that's it for this episode. Well done, guys. Do you think you can find more mistakes that we did not include here? Do you have any questions? Write to us in the comment section below and we'll get back to you very soon. We'll see you in the next one.